Hello students, now we will solve exercise number 7.6, the question number first. Question number first, from exercise number 7.6. Now here we solve the A part of this question. The first question is 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 7. Now students, in these type of question, here we will use LCM method. So here we take LCM of these both denominator, 3 and a 7, right? So first we find the LCM of these both number, 3 and 7. First we divide by 3, 3 ones are 3, and if we write 7 as it is here, then 7 ones are 7. After that, when you multiply 3 and a 7, we get LCM 21, 3 7s are 21. Now, here we write LCM as a denominator. After that, we divide this 21 by 3. 3 7s are 21. After that, multiply by numerator 2. Write plus here as it is. Then here 21 div divided by 7. 7 3s are 21. Multiply by, here we write 1 as it is here. Now we multiply these all numbers 7 to the 14 plus 3 1 the 3 upon 21 and when we add these both number 14 and a 3 we get 17 17 upon 21. Now we apply the same rule with the other numbers and we find the sum of different fractions. Now after that we solve B part of this question. 3 upon 10 plus 7 upon 15. Now you all know that first we find the LCM of these both number 10 and 15. Now here first we divide this 10 and 15 by 2. 2 5s are 10. Because 15 is not divisible by 2, so we write 15 as it is here. Now, because 5 is not divisible by 3, so but 15 is divisible by 3, so here we divide this number by 3. 3 5s are 15. After that, we divide these both 5 by 5. Now, we multiply these all factors here, 2, 3 and 5. 2 3s are 6 and 6 5s are 30 so here so here we get LCM 30 now here we take 30 as a denominator so first we divide this 30 by 10 10 3s are 30 and multiply by numerator 3 plus after that we divide this 30 by 5 15 sorry 15 to the 30 multiply by 7 numerator 7 now we multiply these all numbers 3 3 is a 9 plus 2 7 is a 14 upon 30 now we add these both numbers 14 and 9 and when we add these both number 14 and a 9 we get 23 upon 30 so we say that when we add these both fraction 3 upon 10 plus 7 upon 15, we get 23 upon 30 as a sum. Now students, here we solve the H part of this question. 5 upon 6 minus 1 upon 3. Now first we find the LCM of these both number. 6 comma 3. So here first we divide this both numbers by 2. But here 6 is divisible by 2 but 3 is not divisible by 2. So here we divide this 6 by 2. 2 3s are 6 and write 3 as it is here. Then divide these both 3 by 3. 3 1s are 3 and 3 1s are 3. Now we get 2 3s are 6 as a LCM. So here we write 6 as a LCM here mean LCM as a denominator here and after that we divide this 6 by 6 
6 ones are 6 and multiply by numerator 5 minus write minus as it is here then this 6 divided by 3 3 twos are 6 multiply by 1 numerator now here we get 1 fives are 5 minus 2 ones are 2 upon 6 and here we get when we subtract 5 minus 2 we get 3 upon 6 now students you all know that here we also reduce this fraction in its simplest form and we divide these both numbers numerator and denominator by 3 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6 and here we get 1 upon 2 so here we say that when we subtract these both fraction 5 upon 6 minus 1 upon 3 we get difference 1 upon 2 now here we solve next question question number i 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 now first we find the LCM of these all numbers so here we write 2 comma 3 comma 4 so here first we divide these all numbers by 2 2 ones are 2 here we write 3 as it is here 2 twos are 4 then again divided by 2 here we write 1 as it is here 3 as it is here 2 ones are 2 now by 3 3 ones are 3 right now here we multiply these all numbers here all factors here so here we get 2 twos are 4 3 are 12 so here we get 12 as a LCM now we write this 12 as a denominator and first we divide this 12 by 3 3 4s are 12 multiply by 2 plus here we divide this 12 by 4 4 3s are 12 multiply by numerator 3 plus 2 divide this 12 6 times 2 6s are 12 multiply by 1 so here we get 4 2s are 8 plus 3 3s are 9 plus 6 1s are 6 upon 12 now we add these all numbers so here we get 8 plus 9 17 and 17 plus 6 23 23 upon 12 right 23 upon 12 and we also write this improper fraction because numerator is greater as compared to denominator so we say that these type of fraction are known as improper fraction so if we convert this fraction in its mixed fraction form so here we divide this 23 by 12 12 ones are 12 right 3 minus 2 1 and 2 minus 1 1 so here we write in a mixed fraction form here we write quotient remainder and divisor so we say that 1 whole 11 upon 12 is the sum of these all fractions 2 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 now after that here we solve i part of this question l part of this question so l part 4 whole 2 upon 3 plus 3 whole 1 upon 4 and students this question is totally related to mixed fraction right so first we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction form first we convert this fraction 3 4s are 12 plus 2 14 14 upon 3 so here we write the complete process right 3 4s are 12 so here we take 3 as a first we write 3 as a denominator and 3 4s are 12 3 multiply by 4 plus numerator 2 write plus here then write 4 as a denominator so 4 multiply by 3 plus 1 right 3 4s are 12 plus 2 14 14 upon 3 plus 4 3s are 12 12 plus 1 13 upon 4 so now we get two fraction number here 14 upon 3 plus 13 upon 4 
now so first we find the lcm of these both number 3 and a 4 3 comma 4 so here first we divide this these both number by 2 because 4 divisible by 2 2 2 is a 4 then again divide by 2 2 1 is a 2 then divide by 3 and we get LCM 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 2 2 is a 4 3 is a 12 now after that here we write 12 as a denominator now first we divide this 12 by 3 3 4 is a 12 multiply by 14 plus 4 divide this 12 3 times 4 3 is a 12 multiply by 13 now we get when we multiply these numbers 14 4 is a 56 plus 13 3 is a 39 upon 12 now we add these both number 56 plus 39 9 plus 6 15 5 1 carry here 5 plus 1 6 and 6 plus 3 9 95 upon 12 because students you all know that this fraction is in a improper fraction form so here we convert this fraction in its mixed fraction form so here we divide this 95 by 12 12 7 is 84 right 12 7 is 84 5 minus 4 1 and 9 minus 8 1 so here we write fraction 7 whole 11 upon 12 so when we add these both mixed number 4 whole 2 upon 3 plus 3 whole 1 upon 4 we get some 7 whole 11 upon 12 now students here we solve some word problem and this is a question number 2 Sarita bought two upon five meter of ribbon and Lalita bought three upon four meter of ribbon. What is the total length of the ribbon they bought? So now students there the total length here we find the total length of the ribbon, right? So first we write ribbon first we write the given values bought by sarita equal to 2 upon 5 meter and ribbon bought by lalita equal to 3 upon 4 meter now total length of ribbon equal to 2 upon 5 plus 3 upon 4 now first we find the LCM of these both number so the LCM of these both number is equal to 20 now here we take 20 as a denominator now first we divide this 20 by 5 5 4 is a 20 and 4 2 is a 8 so here we write 4 multiply by 2 right 4 5 is a 20 multiply by 3 now 4 2 is a 8 plus 5 3 is a 15 upon 20 equal to when we add these both number 15 and a 8 we get 23 upon 20 and we write in a mixed fraction 1 whole 3 upon 20 meter when we divide this 23 by 20 we get 1 whole 3 upon 20 meter so now here we write therefore they bought total 1 whole 3 upon 20 meter of ribbon Now we solve the next question. Now we solve the fifth question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज होमवर्क फॉर यू फिल इन द बॉक्सेस नाउ हे वी सॉल्व द सी पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वन अपॉइंट टू माइनस ब्लैंक बॉक्स हेयर इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट सिक्स so there are two methods to solve this question the easy method is here we subtract 1 upon 6 from 1 upon 2 and then we get what numbers come in this blank box so if we subtract 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 6 and here we find the lcm of these both number So here we write two and a six. Two ones are two. Two threes are six. After that, divided by three. Three ones are three. Now we get LCM. Two multiplied by three. Two threes are six. Six as the LCM. Now we write six as the denominator. And after that, divided by two. Two threes are six multiplied by one. Minus six ones are six multiplied by one. Then we get three ones are three minus one ones are one upon six, and here we get three minus one two upon six. Now we reduce this fraction in its simplest form. Two ones are two and two threes are six. Here we get one upon three. So here we write. If we say that in this blank box, here we fill one upon three, and we also check our answer by subtracting one upon two minus one upon three. If we get one upon six, so we get the correct answer. So the correct answer is one upon three. Now we solve the other part of this question by using the same method. Here we solve question number five and a part of this question. So the question is complete the addition and subtraction. box so now if we solve the a part of this question so now here we solve this question so when we move in this row side like left to right so we add these numbers these fraction numbers and when we move upside to downside so here we subtract these numbers now we observe these all numbers and we find these all fractions are like fraction so it is very easy to us to solve this question here so now when we add these two fraction number 2 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 so you all know that here we take 3 as a common denominator and after that we add these both numbers these both numerators 2 plus 4 6 so here we get 6 upon 3 so here we write 6 upon 3 now when we add these both numbers so here we write 3 as a common denominator after that we add these both fraction num these both numerator we write 3 1 plus 2 3 now we add these both now we subtract these both numbers these both fraction number so here we write 3 as a common denominator and when we subtract 2 minus 1 we get 1 Now here we apply the same rule here. We write three here as a common denominator out of these two fraction number, and when we subtract four minus two, because here we move upside to downside, so it's a reason here we subtract four minus two. Here we write two here. Now here we apply the same rule here. Here we write three as a common denominator. After that we subtract six minus three. Here we write three. Right. So by using the same method. you will solve the b part of this question question number 5 question number 6 a piece of a wire is 7 upon 8 meter long broke into two pieces one piece was 1 upon 4 meter long how long is the second other piece so here we find the length of the second piece right so first we write the given values so here we write total length of a wire is equal to 7 upon 8 meter and here we write the length of first part 
वन अपॉन फोर मीटर नाउ हैव यू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज इक्वल टू सो हैव यू सब ट्रैक्ट सेवन अपॉन एट माइनस वन अपॉन फोर एंड देन वी गेट द लेंथ ऑफ द सेकेंड पार्ट सो नाउ द एल्सियम ऑफ दीज बोथ नंबर is equal to एट right? When we find the LCM of these both number, we get LCM एट So here we take एट as a denominator. Now एट वन जा एट मल्टीप्लाय बाय सेवन सेवन वन जा सेवन फोर टू जा एट एंड टू वन जा टू नाउ वी गेट फाइव अपॉन एट मीटर सो हे वी राइट देयर फोर the length of remaining part is 5 upon 8 meter now student we solve the eighth question here asa and samuel have bookshelves of the same size partly filled with books asa self is 5.6 full and samuel self is 2/5 full whose book self is more full by what fraction so here we compare these both fraction first 5 upon 6 and 2 upon 5 right asa self and samuel self so first because you all know that these both fraction are unlike fraction so here we convert these both fraction in its like fraction form so here first we find the lcm of these both number 6 and 5 right so here first we divide this both number by 2 2 3 the 6 then 3 1 the 3 and 5 1 the 5 now we get Two multiply by three multiply by five. Two three is a six and six five is a thirty. Now we make thirty. These both fraction make thirty as a denominator. So here five multiply by. So here six multiply by five. So five multiply by five equal to five five is a twenty five upon six five is a thirty. Then the second fraction two upon five. So here we multiply. By six, then we get thirty as a denominator. So two six is a twelve upon six five is a five and five six is a thirty. Now right? after that, when we compareize these both fraction, twenty five upon thirty and twelve upon thirty, which fraction is greater? In like fraction, fraction is greater. Which fraction is greater? Which having greater numerator? So twenty five is greater as compared to twelve. So if we say that twenty five. Upon thirty is greater as compared to twelve upon thirty. So here we say that. Therefore, Asal book self is more covered than. Samuel. Now, here we find difference. So twenty five upon thirty minus because here we find by what fraction? Yes, that this is the reason. Here we subtract these both fraction twenty five upon thirty minus twelve upon thirty. Now, here we write thirty as a denominator because these both are. Like fractions, so here we take thirty as a common denominator. After that, we subtract twenty-five minus twelve, and when we subtract twenty-five minus twelve, we get thirteen. So if we say, so if we say that Asa's book self is more covered than Samuel by thirteen upon thirty fraction. Now, students, now students, your homework is question number one. The other left question you solve by yourself, right? those questions are left those part of question number 1 are left you solve by yourself 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर लेफ्ट पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव बी पार्ट एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन यू सॉल्व बाय योर सेल्फ दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन आर होमवर्क फॉर यू 